Good morning, West Central Texas. This is meteorologist Pat O'Quinn with the National Weather Service here in San Angelo, Texas. Uh, let's start out today's weather briefing by looking at the uh, current radar that we, we have right now. Uh, this is the actual radar image uh, that you would see if you looked at it on our website. Uh, you can see we got some uh, light to moderate showers out, out uh, just west of San Angelo, although they are starting to dissipate as they uh, move towards the north and northeast. Um, Kind of like what we were expecting yesterday, you know, we were expecting them to start to dissipate uh, once they start moving too far to the east, uh, generally cutting off right around San Angelo and Abilene. Uh, but the majority of the activity is out towards Midland, and um, for now, most of it in our area is just rain showers. But some of the heavier cells that you see out towards Midland, uh, they do have a little bit of lightning. Uh, associated with them so definitely want to take note of that uh, but this activity as we go up go throughout this morning this activity uh, we do expect to uh, continue for a little bit longer in the next couple hours or so um, most areas that are west of a brownwood to junction line could see some activity this morning uh, but uh, for the most part we're expecting this activity to hang out west of those areas uh, for now um, High temperatures this afternoon, uh, we're looking at highs in the mid-90s to maybe even the triple digits in some areas. Uh, winds will be from the south about 10 to 15 miles, mi miles per hour, gusting up to around 25 or so. So it's going to be a little bit breezy out there. Uh, definitely another hot day for those of you that don't pick up any of these uh, showers that will cool you off a little bit. Uh, but for tonight, uh, we do expect these rain showers and the thunderstorms to expand further towards the east. Uh, we'll pretty much cover the entire area with some sort of rain chance, but again, rain chances are going to be pretty uh, limited at about 30% uh, or so at most. Uh, but this activity should, uh, should start to cut off once we get into uh, late tonight, and then we should see a little bit more maybe for Sunday as well. Uh, but then after that, we're, we're looking at high pressure ridge will set back in and definitely going to heat back up to the triple digits and the rain will turn off at least for a day or two uh, to start next week. Uh, but other than that, that pretty much covers us for today. And as always, please take care and have a good day.